take pride in our nationhood. We express our patriotism by several means. The singing of the national anthem, national song and hoisting of the national flag. However, have you ever wondered whether we Indians have the right to fly the national flag whenever we want? Often times we believe that the national flag can only be flown during the Independence Day or the Republic Day. However, we are here to tell you that that is not the case. The Honorable Supreme Court of India clarified this in the landmark case of Naveen Jindal versus Union of India. In this video, we shall be addressing the case and what was the reasoning behind the court's conclusion. We will also see what are the restrictions on this right and how is one supposed to hoist the Indian national flag. The case arose when one Naveen Jindal, a leading industrialist, was stopped by the government authorities from flying the national flag on his office premises. The reason was that flying the national flag was not allowed as it went against the flag code of India. Mr. Jindal decided to contest this prohibition in the court of law, stating that it violated his freedom of speech and expression. He found himself in the Delhi High Court and then later in the Supreme Court of India. At the Supreme Court, the matter was heard by a bench of three judges consisting of CGI Khare, Justice Brijesh Kumar and Justice S.B. Sinha. The Supreme Court opined that flying the national flag was in fact a part of the freedom of speech and expression guaranteed to every citizen of India under Article 19, Clause 1, Sub Clause A of the Constitution of India. The court relied on several decided cases to state that speech does not just mean spoken speech but visible manifestations of the feelings of his individual, which means the actions of an individual. Therefore, even hoisting of the national flag is a manner of expressing one's feeling of patriotism and amounts to speech. The court specifically stated that the national flag belongs to the whole nation and therefore everyone should have a right to fly it. Reiterating the words of Pandit Nehru in the Constituent Assembly, the court said, and I quote, the national flag is not for ourselves, but a symbol of freedom for all people who seek it. Interestingly, the court was not convinced with how this right exists in other countries, especially in the United States of America, wherein even the burning of the national flag is allowed as a form of protest. The court stated that we cannot adopt such a liberal approach and there can be imposition of restrictions on this right on the grounds enlisted in Article 19, Clause 2 of the Constitution of India. That being settled, the next question is in what manner should one fly the national flag? The official booklet which lays down the guidelines for the flying of the national flag is the Flag Code of India. Now the question that arises is, what can you do with the national flag? First, the national flag can be flown between sunrise and sunset. It can be flown during the night hours given that it is on 100 feet or above a flagpole and is adequately illuminated. Indian citizens can also fly the national flag inside their car on the dashboard or on the windscreen. One can print, stitch, embroider the flag as part of one's dress or costume, but this should not extend below the waistline. Old, unclean, mutilated or torn national flag should be disposed of, preferably by burning or by any other method consistent with the dignity of the flag, such as burying it with deep respect or by immersing it into Ganga, duly folded. One may display the national flag horizontally on a wall, provided that the saffron band should be uppermost when displayed vertically. The saffron should be on the left of the person facing it. The flag may be displayed on a speaker's platform, provided it shall be flown on movable staff to the speaker's right as he or she faces the audience. What you cannot do with the national flag are the following pointers. First, you should not write anything on the national flag. You cannot embroider or print the image of the national flag on cushions, handkerchiefs, napkins and undergarments. The flag should not be used for any commercial purposes. You cannot wear the flag as a portion of a costume, uniform or accessory of any description which is worn below the waist of any person. For those wondering, what happens if you do not abide by these guidelines? The Prevention of Insults to National Honor Act 1971 provides for imprisonment which may be extended to three years with fine. Every Indian citizen must remember the spirit underlying the right is that one should not treat the national flag with disrespect and should always uphold its dignity. Therefore, to all fellow Indians, we have the right to fly the national flag. 
as long as we are respectable and uphold its dignity. So if tomorrow someone prohibits you from doing that, Naveen Jindal vs. Union of India is the case you point them to. We leave you with a question. Do you remember the recent Coldplay concert in India? Yes, the same concert where Mr. Chris Martin decided to tuck the Indian national flag in his bottoms, sparking a lot of controversy for his actions. Assuming you are the judge before whom the case comes, what would you do? Would you hold him guilty or acquit him? Let us know your answers in the comment section below. Thank you. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This video was prepared by the Constitutional Law Society at National Law University, Jodhpur. For watching more such videos and other lectures on constitutional law, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and also follow us on Facebook. Thank you so much.